uh, what made this uh, specifying challenging was the fact that it, it was a typical old church which had steam heating throughout and it was slightly uh, slight air conditioning in here at this point but not total air conditioning the church was faced with uh, boilers with, which had failed so they either put the capital expense toward the boilers or they put it to, toward a, uh, a new type of system so that was the challenge was to take the place of the old boilers at this point for heating what made specifying an HVAC system at the Huguenot Church challenging is it's nearly a hundred year old building with three sections, a sanctuary, a classroom, and a connecting library. Completely different vintages of construction, completely different uses, completely different insulation values throughout. So we really needed something that was flexible, that could take care of all the, the needs of the building. Um, they wanted to stay in today's technology to be uh, earth friendly and to save energy yet get good results at that point in terms of their their uh, heating and cooling. Even at church uh, they really pushed this green sort of initiative in an attempt and I think a successful attempt to be stewards in the church community and, and pushing these green technologies to make the best use of our resources and to demonstrate that as a an organization they could use the resources in the best manner um, for themselves and for the community. The Mitsubishi zoning system was chosen for this project because it offered uh, many solutions simultaneously in the, in the different sections of the church. The Mitsubishi electric VRF zoning system was chosen for this project because of the very nature of the occupancy here. We've got worship on the weekends in the large sanctuary. We've got classroom activities during the week in the classroom, gymnastics, evening groups, all sorts of different uses. And the VRF zoning system allows us to um, install more equipment than we have the capacity for, knowing that we're not always going to be using all the rooms to their capacity at all times. So we can use only the energy we need in the places that we need at all times. I'm a member of Huguenot Memorial Church for the last 24 years. And when the, when the air conditioning subject came up as part of buildings and grounds, we chose the engineers who had a more modern concept towards energy and the uses of it. The church is a 135-year-old church that was built in three different phases. So it has a complexity of different usage and different spaces. As a mechanical contractor, we saw the difficulties of finding a system that would accommodate all of this. And the Mitsubishi VRF system was the answer. The engineers did a fantastic uh, schematic as a contractor who knows the building and knows the in and out of the building and the use of the building, we were able to use this to install the equipment in a quiet and hidden fashion that the aesthetics of the building did not change in any way. The variable refrigerant uh, se sequencing that was offered made this an ideal choice because it also included branch controllers, which permitted heating and cooling to go on simultaneously, and uh, also to control the amount of refrigerant, which translated into less energy. From an engineer's perspective, we chose the Mitsubishi VRF system because it offers everything that we need for this application. Uh, the branch controllers allowing us to share energy between rooms. Uh, potentially heating in, in uh, zones that need heating and cooling where we've got a large occupant load. The application of the geothermal compressor condensers in this case allowed us to remove any outdoor equipment, use the large parking lot in the rear of the building for uh, energy exchange with the environment, and really the energy efficiency of this system, knowing that it's part load efficiency as well as just the, the being able to share energy between uh, different parts of the building at all times was a driving force in, in why we ended up with this system. The historic nature of the building doesn't allow us to bring down ceilings and, and get into walls, so being able to use refrigerant lines 
to bring the energy where we need it in the building was of uh, primary importance. But then the application of the indoor air handlers, having several ducted systems for the larger spaces, such as the sanctuary. We have some of the wall hung units in the classrooms, uh, some console units throughout with uh, enclosures. The, the, the flexibility and the variability of the equipment uh, made applying these systems to different parts of this multi-use facility really easy and, and, and helpful. Well, what we factored into the uh, design considerations when we selected Mitsubishi was the fact that uh, you could have, once we zoned it, you could have various conditions going on. Sanctuary only used limited to the times of the week, the other areas being daily, night use. All this could be turned on and off depending upon how it was set to get back to the original principle of green and less energy. The system mechanical room was originally where the oil fired boilers were and was converted into a climate control environment for the 14 uh, Mitsubishi geothermal water cool units. These units uh, are operated on a 24 hour basis with uh, two AG150 controllers which control each space on a time and annual schedule. The, the schedule allows the building to raise and lower temperature uh, simultaneously in several areas and the sanctuary and chapel operates on a weekend uh, sometimes on Saturdays sometimes uh, on Sundays various hours of the day and the system allows that um, variation and comfort level for the building as part of the parishioners of Huguenot Memorial Church we have been very very happy with the performance of the Mitsubishi system The Mitsubishi design proceeded by replacing an old steam system, as we mentioned before, which allowed us quite a bit of room to uh, move the Mitsubishi's elements around. By that I mean the refrigeration lines running out to the various air handlers were the only things we had to deal with versus a lot of ductwork and, once again, steam lines and so forth on the thing. From an installation standpoint, we've got to give a little bit of credit here, a lot of credit, I should say, to our contractor who had a really tight window to, to do the job over the summer before the classrooms had to be back up in use with a firm date. One of the benefits that we had with the Mitsubishi system is its modular nature, where we had to be up and running for the school for the state code by a certain date. So we commissioned those systems and that section of the system while we were still connecting the last pieces on the rest of the system. Um, the installation went great and we've got to give a lot of credit to our contractor on this one. The main difficulty as a contractor that we were faced with was the time frame in which this project had to be completed. The project would normally have been a six month project. We were able to complete it in three and a half months through the, the knowledge and experience of knowing the building. We extended our hours approximately 12 hours a day, six days a week in order to accomplish this and it was done and heating was turned on on October 12th as the state regulation requires and everybody was happy. The feedback which I've heard from the church members has been positive. It, uh, there are many compliments about the quietness of the system and on another element, it was able to handle the most severe conditions during the summer where the temperature remained above design limits for quite a bit of time and satisfied everybody. So positive would be the feedback I've heard. The feedback we've received has been great. We've now been up and running for over a year through an entire heating and an entire cooling season. This summer we had a, an incredible heat wave, lasted a couple of weeks, no complaints. And here at the church, we have spaces that are conditioned that weren't before. I think a lot of people are excited about that. Um, and the energy use that's been tracking through is, is on par with what we were expecting, uh, getting rid of that pesky oil bill and, and really uh, showing the efficiency on the electric side.